Curse of Chucky is the latest installment in the Child's Play franchise and the first one in the franchise to be the direct to DVD and Blu-ray. Chucky is back again and he's shipped to a house where you see all the family a funeral and he basically kills them one by one. That's the plot of the movie in a nutshell. To be honest, when I heard they're gonna make another Chucky movie instead of a reboot, my thoughts were mixed. They were mixed because I'm like, yes, another Chucky movie. Yes, it's gonna be a return to horror movie. Yes! And I'm like, after watching Cheetah Chucky, I don't know if I want to watch another Chucky movie. So how bad that movie was, I'm just not interested no more. But after watching Krista Chucky, all I gotta say is, Chucky is back. I mean, he's back. I mean, this is return to form Chucky. This isn't like the Chucky from Brian Chucky and Cheetah Chucky. This is the same Chucky for Child Play 1, 2, and 3. But we do have his one line that's here and there, but still. He's back. And for a direct DVD or Blu-ray movie, I do gotta say, this movie's actually really good. In my opinion, this is the best sequel in the franchise. At first, it was Child Play 2, until I saw this, this beats Child Play 2. And some of the actors and actresses are really good in this movie, just like Fiona Durham, who is Brad Dourif's daughter in this movie. That's actually pretty cool. She was she was really good in this movie, and a little girl in this movie, who was kind of like the female version of Andy Barkley, she was... Actually pretty great, not really annoying for a child actor or actress. They actually use practical blood in this movie. Like, 1980s horror movie practical blood. It's so amazing that a movie in 2013 still use practical blood. Some horror movies nowadays just use CGI blood, which looks so fake, like in sci-fi horror movies. Like on the Sci-Fi channel, or should I say Sci-Fi channel? That shark name. But I do have some problems with this movie. It's like most directed DVD movies, the the effects in the movie aren't really that good, except for the blood. It's really a little bit a low budget film, and the CGI where Chucky's walking looks terrible. I mean, it looks awful. I mean, for a movie 2013, the, the CGI looks bad, like, so embarrassingly bad. If you know your Chucky movie just like I do, there is a lot of references from the first Child Play movie all the way to the god-awful scene of Chucky. And there are some cameos when you're like, oh, yes, he's back. And there's another cameo when you're like, oh, she's back. Oh, okay. Overall, Curse of Chucky is the best Child Play sequel so far, I will get this movie a B plus. Only because of the bad CGI, but the performances are good. Great kills. Finally, finally got the Chuck we all know back. Finally got him back. And this is really a revival to the franchise. A welcome back to the franchise. A back to his roots type of film. Finally got you back. I'm glad that Don Messi, the curator of the Child Play franchise, got himself together after Brighter Sea. I bet he'd go back and look at them and be like, Oh my goodness, what have I done? <laughs> if you guys know me, I'm not gonna say it. But if you are new to my channel, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.